Hey there, so we are continuing our Unbound series. In this particular video, we're going to talk about how to configure Google Ads conversion tracking with Unbound. So if you create landing pages and you have a form submission or even a phone call, and we're gonna cover phone calls in a different video, but how in the world do you track that conversion? It's really, really important when you're spending money in Google Ads to be able to measure properly because measurement of these success signals is what you need to feed back into the algorithm for algorithmic learning, and then you can use at some point target CPA or target row ads or whatever you're doing, but you got to measure correctly, right? So, so if we're if we're installing a uh, if we're going live with a landing page, and if you set up your domain, your subdomain, or if you got unbounce attached to one of your main domains, it doesn't matter. You still need to be able to measure properly. And in, in other videos, uh, we talked about installing the Google Tag Manager um, within Unbounce. We talked about getting GA4 going. In this particular video, we're focusing primarily on a form conversion. Okay, so in another video, again, we created a, uh, a mock-up landing page based off of the StoryBrand framework. We actually emulated the template that's out there, and we then created a form, and we submitted that form to a thank you page. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a Google Ads conversion code, we're going to put it into the Google Tag Manager, and we're going to have that fire on that thank you page. Okay, so before you do anything, what you want to do is set up uh, Google Tag Manager, if you don't have it already, and you'll also want to be able to uh, to be able to set up your Google anal Analytics. You should have Analytics running anyway. So GTM Google Analytics, and then the second thing is Google Ads, right? So in order to get if you don't have a Google Ads account, just go to ads.google.com and that'll take you there and go ahead and set that up. Um, and then Google Tag Manager, again, I did another video on GTM, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much here other than going through the process of adding the conversion code. But if you haven't set up your GTM yet, go to uh, tagmanager.google.com and set that up, okay? Um, before we get started, let me just say that, you know, we, uh, we do this stuff all day long. So if you do need help, just let me know, um, because we do landing page optimization, we do beautiful landing pages could, that convert, and they're all set up for proper measurement. In addition to that, we also do Google PPC, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, um, and we do them right. We do them the right way, uh, again, with proper measurement. So if you need help with any of this stuff, be sure to reach out. If you're new to Unbounce, we do have a special um, as a reseller of Unbounce. Get 20% off your first three months or 35% off your first full year with Unbounce. And just use the link here. Uh, and to get this, just go to the page uh, brandrocket.net forward slash Unbounce. All right, so let's get started. We are going to uh, kick it off by heading over to the Google Ads account. So this assumes that you've already created a Google Ads account, all right? So I'm gonna go into my own account here. Let me just start from the beginning. So this is, uh, so if you log in, you should see something similar to this page right here. And if you don't see something similar to this, where you have all of this detail here, you can switch, you're probably in beginner mode, so you wanna switch it to expert mode. And I believe that option, I don't have it on my screen here, but look around the option, you know, these the user interface has changed quite a bit with Google. In fact, they're moving to a new interface here pretty soon, so we're gonna to have to kind of relearn where things are all over again. But you should find the uh, ability to switch uh, to expert mode somewhere in the, uh, the menu system, okay? But you'll wanna make sure that you have the ability to go in under tools and settings and go directly into conversions. And it's possible that in the startup mode, you can do that anyway. Um, I just, I'd never look at that startup mode. Um, so just go to tools and settings and let's go into conversions. Um, once you go in there, we're gonna set up a brand new conversion action. Okay, so go ahead and click on new conversion action, the blue button. We're gonna select website and then we're gonna add the domain name. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over here and, and just copy the domain name really quick to save me from having to type this out. Um, head back over to Google and it's gonna, you have to do a quick scan. Uh, Google wants to scan the website to see if there's any conversion tracking code already set up. Um, once it does this, you'll have the opportunity to just set it up manually, which is you know what I would definitely recommend. Um, so I'm gonna say add a conversion action manually. All right, so um, what you want to do is 
select your goal and action category, right? So every conversion action has a category depending on what it is. If it's a purchase or add to cart or begin checkout or subscription, um, a contact, a submit lead form. We're gonna say, because this is unbounced and we're trying to get a lead on this mock-up page, we're gonna say submit lead form. Um, conversion action optimization. So this is important as well. So the primary conversions are used to feed the algorithm. So if you, if it is truly something that you want to use for a signal, a success signal for Google ads, then definitely do primary. If it's more observational, um, then you would just use secondary, right? So uh, for example, primary would be a form submission. Primary can also be a phone call lasting X amount of seconds. Secondary might be like a download of a PDF or something like that. Uh, it all depends on, you know, what your goals are uh, within the account. But most of the time that's, that's pretty you know, true as to how we, how we configure them. Conversion name, we're going to say on this one, it could be anything you want, but I'm gonna say form submission, um, unbounce, okay? And then you could put a value on it. If you know what the, the, the uh, you know, what is, the, what is the lead worth to you? If you happen to know that, and that would be kind of like working through your numbers and understanding what a, what a customer is worth over time. And then you can back into, you know, what a lead is worth, then put some kind of a value there. I'm just gonna put in a fake number. I'm just gonna say a lead, a lead for me is worth uh, $50 on this one, okay? Count, do you wanna count it every single time uh, somebody, you know, submits it? Most likely for a form, you wanna count it one time uh, because you don't want to repeat over and over again if somebody resubmits and resubmits and resubmits, right? So you're probably gonna to wanna to, uh, select one uh, click-through conversion window. So this is like how long after somebody uh, sees an ad, how long uh, is that attribution window? And you know you can open it up, I believe up to 90 days, okay? So um, it's an attribution window. So it's like, depends again on your business and your sales cycle. Um, I pretty much leave the view through, uh, the engaged view conversion window in the view through conversion window as is. If you have data driven living or data driven listed here, um, and Google is moving everybody to data driven. So just leave it as data driven. Um, what you want to do definitely down here is not enabled enhanced CPC. Um, you can do that when you're building the campaigns, but don't just have Google do it automatically. This is just kind of a tricky thing they do at the bottom to get you to spend more money, okay? So let's see here. So we've got this, so we're gonna say done, and let's save and continue. So once we have that, we are gonna have uh, information on how to get this uh, set up as a conversion on the unbounce page. Okay, so you have set up with Google tag, you can do it that way. That's not the way that we prefer to do it at all. Um, so we're gonna be using Google tag manager for this. And you can see the Google tag manager, you have a conversion ID and then you have a form submission unbounce um, big alphanumeric character that we're gonna be adding. All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna pause here also note, if you're setting up Google Tag Manager for the first time, make sure you add conversion linker tag. Okay, so that's the first step you would do. I covered that in the GTM video that I did for Unbounce earlier, so be sure to check that out if you're not aware of that. So we're gonna jump over into the Google Tag Manager and we are going to create a Google conversion action. Um, so once I'm here, we're gonna create a tag. Okay, so we're gonna say new tag and we're gonna say uh, Google Ads. I'll just say Google conversion, unbounce, form, submission, okay? And under tag configuration, we are going to say Google Ads conversion tracking, all right? And then we're just gonna bounce right back over to Google Ads and take a look at that conversion ID number, okay? We're gonna see, all right, 814. Starts with 814, we're gonna copy that, go back over to Google Tag Manager, copy that in. Go back over to Google Ads, and then we're gonna take this long number here, copy that, go back into the GTM, and add it as a conversion label, okay? We already added conversion value in Google Ads, we don't need to do anything there. And then on the triggering, um, this is where it, it can get a little tricky, and in another video, I had set up in Unbounce a thank you page. Before I do this, let's jump over to Unbounce and take a look at that, okay? So I have this, um, this page here that I had created 
And this was, again, we created this in a separate video where we basically took a template, a story brand template, and we just recreated um, this template that this website had for sale for $300. We just recreated it uh, in under an hour uh, within, within Unbound. So let's just take a look. I wanna make sure that the form is submitting to the proper thank you page. I'm gonna scroll down to that form that we created. I'm gonna highlight that and just take a look and I'm gonna see, okay, it is going to lp.brandrocket.net forward slash thanks, okay? So we know that that's looking pretty good, right? So thanks, um, let's go back out. Now I do wanna take a look at that thanks page as well, just to make sure. And I think it was this one here, let's take a look. All right, so there's the thanks, and let's just open it up to take a look. So it's pretty basic, you know, it's here we are and thanks, right? Um, and so we're gonna be coming back to this particular page and adding that conversion code. So let me go into edit mode here. All right, so we're gonna come back here in a second. Now let's go jump over to Google Ads. I'm sorry, Google Tag Manager. And for the trigger, we are going to say, add a trigger, we're gonna plus in the upper right hand corner, we are going to say uh, sh page views. So we're gonna trigger on a page view. Um, not all page views, because that would mean that every time somebody went to your landing page, it would trigger a conversion. So we don't wanna do that. We wanna say some page views, and we're gonna say uh, page path starts with, or you can say contains or equals. I'm just gonna say starts with. Um, Thanks. If you have multiple thank you pages, by the way, that start with thanks and don't do this. Um, but I know that I don't. Um, so we're going to say thanks. And I don't believe I need to have that there. Okay. We're going to test this out anyway. All right. So we're going to say trigger is page view. Thanks. All right. So we will save. Well, sometimes I get this message and then I have to refresh and start again. So let me do that. Okay, so there are times where you will see an error like you did see at the bottom of the screen and Google Tag Manager just does this once in a while and you have to go out uh, to the main, you actually have to start over and that's exactly what I did. Um, so I went all the way out uh, to the main screen. I refreshed the browser and then I went through and then recreated it again. Um, as I recreated it this time, I did change something. So I'm gonna show you what I did change. So within the tag itself and within the trigger itself on the page view trigger, um, instead of starts with uh, thanks, I, I changed it to page URL. Uh, page URL equals and then exactly what that thank you page is on um, on the landing page on Unbounce. And the reason I changed my mind on that is that in, in case any other, on the main site, if somebody were to create a, a thank you page that started with thanks, it would trigger, right? So I wanna be very specific here because it's Unbounce, so that's why I added the full domain uh, to the Unbounce uh, server. And by the way, if you haven't, created a custom domain for Unbounce, I have another video on that. So be sure to check that out. And that's what allows me to create this, okay? So now that we've created it, what we want to do is actually test this out. And within Google Tag Manager, uh, we have the, the ability to do that. So we can see, is this actually going to fire, right? So we go into this preview mode here. And when you go into preview mode, you'll be able to add the uh, the URL of your landing page on Unbounce, and then you connect it, which is what we're doing here. And now you can see Tag Assistant is connected, right? So anything that I do here will flow through into the GTM, and I'll be able to see what is and is not triggering. So you can see I'm on landingpage.brandrocket.net or lp.brandrocket.net, and I can see the tags that are firing. You can see I have a lot of tags in this GTM account, uh, so there's quite a lot of stuff that's that's firing here. Um, but you can see the tags that are not firing, right? And down here, you're going to see uh, conversion, Google conversion, unbounced form submission, which did not fire, nor should it fire, because we're on the landing page itself, we're not on the thank you page. All right. 
so here we go over back into remember we're in like this de debug mode right so we're going to go down we're going to scroll down to the form and we are going to click on the form and i'll just pre-fill this with my information and say get a free guide this takes me to the thanks page as you can see here now i'm going to go back over to the google tag manager you can see that it is fired the thanks page over here and now let's take a look to see what fired and what didn't okay and boom google conversion unbounce form submission this tag fired which means that it fired um, again let's take another look at it so it, it fired this particular tag remember and the way that it was set up was with this conversion ID and this conversion label and that correlates back into Google Ads and the conversion action that we created in Google Ads it has the same conversion ID and the same form or same uh, conversion label rather okay so that's it so once people start if you're running ads or whatever right if you're running Google Ads and they get to your landing page on Unbounce they fill out the information they click submit that's gonna count as a conversion you'll be able to measure your conversions and measure your advertising investment okay and again if you need help with any of this stuff uh, just let us know we do this stuff all day long um, so it's it's quite easy for us and we can knock it out uh, rather quickly um, just check us out at brandrocket.net and again just to repeat the Unbounce um, we have an unbounced deal here. Where is it? Here we go. All right. So if you do want to get started with unbounced, 20% off first three months, 35% off your first full year. You have 14 days to give it a shot. Just go to brandrocket.net forward slash unbounce and check it out. All right. So if you found value in this video, please like it, subscribe and uh, we will be doing more videos about Unbounce. And, and in fact, the next one, we're going to cover uh, phone call tracking. So Google Ads has phone call tracking built in. And uh, how, do you, how do you implement that on your Unbounce page? And how do you test it to make sure it's working? All right, so we'll cover that next. Thank you so much for your time. And we will talk soon. Have a great day.